हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू कट वीडियो और ट्रिम वीडियो बेस्ड अपॉन द स्टार्ट टाइम और एंड टाइम यूजिंग एफ एफ एम पी जी सो फॉर दिस वी विल बी यूजिंग फ्लूएंट एफ एफ एम पी जी लाइब्रेरी विच इज़ अ वेरी ऑसम लाइब्रेरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज एफ एफ एम पी जी इन साइड योर नोट चेयर एप्लीकेशन सो बेसिकली दिस इज इट्स ऑफिशियल पैकेज एंड there is a simple command to install this package which is npm i fluent ffmpg you can see how popular it, it is it is over 2 lakh weekly downloads are there so we will be looking at a very simple command which lets you cut the videos based upon the start time that you provide and the end time so this will be a very awesome tutorial so all the source code regarding this application i have given the link in the video description so basically i have written a complete blog post on my website codingsiksha.com so you can just copy the full source code by going to the video description link so let's get started guys so first of all we will be making a new folder inside that i will say that cut video and basically i will go into this folder and uh, cd cut video so i will make a new directory which is stream vid so i will open this inside visual studio code text editor you will see that this is a folder which is created currently it is empty now we need to initialize the package.json file which will you can see package.json file is created now we simply need to install this package which is fluent ffmpg so basically just write this command and inside this package.json you will see this dependencies installed so now make sure that guys that you before using this dependency make sure that you ffmpg installed inside your computer just go to ffmpg official website download it for your operating system it is available for windows mac linux it's a cross platform software so once it is installed just type ff sorry cmd and try to write ffmpg if the command is successful then you have successfully installed ffmpg so inside this guys what we will do is that we will create a index.js file for our node.js application so the very first thing you need to do is that you need to import the dependency which we will require it in this case fluent ffmpg at the very first line and then guys what we need to do is that inside this directory working directory we need to paste a video from which we will be working so let me take this video for example let me open this video here it is uh, you can see it is uh, hello friends today in this tutorial 7 minutes long I'll video i'll be showing you that how to so we have success video so we will be trimming this video or cutting this video using this uh, library so what what we can do is that we can simply copy this video and paste it inside our working directory so whatever is your working directory i can paste it simply open this and simply paste it here so this is our video i can rename this video to video.mp4 so right here guys we need to import this so now what we can do is that we can simply write ffmpg and here comes the source parameter inside this uh, constructor we are passing a object and the source is a property so here you need to pass the full path of the video so it is there inside the same directory so here we can simply write video.mp4 so we have given the path of the video guys so now guys what we need to do is that we need to trim this so here we can set the start time so there is a method out there inside uh, fluent ffmpg library which is set start time so here you will tell the ffmpg library from where you need to trim the video so this can be in uh, in this format also which will can be in uh, hours minutes and seconds so or you can provide it in uh, seconds as well so let's suppose you want to trim the video from the second second of the video so i will write here uh, from the 10th second i need to trim and also there is a method which is duration so how much is the you need to clip the video so i need to from the 10th second of the video we need to clip it for 5 uh, seconds or let's suppose 10 seconds and then there is some kinds of events out there as well on so when the processing starts there is a event which can be called automatically and here we can simply write a callback function so here we can simply say 
inside this so here we can simply say that in the console you can simply say that uh, processing started that's it after that guys there is also a, a, a error callback as well so if any sort of error take place you can also attach this callback function as well so basically in the processing if any sort of error take place this function can get called automatically we can console log that uh, error taken place and we can also concatenate the error itself like this and lastly when the processing is complete there is a end callback so here we can simply say if no error take place we can simply say that uh, processing done that's it so lastly guys we also need to save this file so we can simply say use this method which is save to file and we can create a file called as cut.mp4 that's it so this is all the code which is required guys let me run this code here so basically what it will do is that it will start the clipping part it will start the cutting time of the video from the 10th second and it will make a clip of 10 seconds because we have provided the duration to be 10 so this is in seconds basically this property takes it seconds this can also be inside this format also hours minutes and seconds so let me run this script for first of all so if i write here node index.js so you will see that processing started and it will take some time because the video is large you can see processing done so now it has created this file here in the left hand side cut.mp4 so basically if i check this you will see this it has created this file if i open this it is so we will be using an external library called as you can see that ffmpg so basically it's a official wrapper so you can see that it is exactly 10 seconds long and it has started the start time if i pick up the original video it has started that from the 10th second uh, hello friends today in this tutorial you can see that this has started from the 10th second we'll be using an external library so it has started from the 10th second and it has clipped for 10 seconds so the duration here is 10 seconds you so you can play with these properties accordingly whatever you want to do you can also change it to 50 here so now the clip will be for 50 seconds so processing started so now the video will be large around 50 seconds so it will take some longer time because now the processing will be large so once it is done it will say to you that processing is done so it, it is that simple you don't need to write complex commands of ffmpg you can just use fluent ffmpg to carry out the process you can see processing done so now if i open this you will see the size will be larger it is around four uh, megabytes so if i open this exactly so we will be using an external library called as it is exactly 50 seconds long so in this way guys you can cut videos based upon any sort of start time and here you can provide it inside this format as well let's suppose you want to provide in this format which is 00 zero, uh, 01 110 so basically this is the format here you can see that indirectly it is saying that start from the location where the video reaches 1 minute 10 second you can see that so once again if i run this command here it will exactly run here you can see processing started you can see that the duration will be for 50 seconds you can also provide the starting time in this format as well so once again you can see that processing started it is taking some time so depending upon whichever format that you like if you want to provide the starting time in seconds you can provide that in that format or if you like it in that format you can provide this so the resultant is ready here you can see that system so once you have installed you can see I, that it is there inside this video let me play so this is the most easy format guys how to trim or uh, cut videos using fluent ffmpg using this these methods which is set start time and duration so make sure that you copy all the source code by going to the video description link and uh, uh, copy all the source code and thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you like this video then please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.